Uh, and Stefan Broden is a senior pastor at Fair Park Bible Fellowship. He is also running for Congress in uh, Texas. Stefan, I think I'm going to start with you. You're running for Congress. You're, you are mixing church and state. Shame on you. Well, uh, there's a screaming need for the church to be involved in the public square. I think we have been bludgeoned and bullied and pushed right out of the public square because of an insidious thing called political correctness. And there's a desperate need for us to return to being biblically correct and being constitutionally correct. I think that the thing that we're fighting here against, uh, Glenn, is that there is a power grab on the part of the progressive left. And in order for them to effectively pull power from America, they have to marginalize and negate the Judeo-Christian influence in the public square. Okay, I wanna, let me go here because this is something I've gotten a lot of, I've gotten a lot of heat for. Taking on churches that talk about social justice. This one is uh, Father Charles Coughlin, who was a, a Nazi sympathizer mm -hmm. in the 1930s. Uh, left, left. Um, this one is the post-American. Uh, this is from 1972, it has Dick Nixon here. God is a, an American and Nixon is the president. And this is Jim Wallace's uh, mm -hmm. magazine. Uh, who speaks for God? They've always had a problem with this. But now, if you look at what the president is saying, immigration, cap and trade, health care, the debt, all of this is now a moral uh, problem. Anybody want to take on social justice and, and what they're saying? Now? I'll be glad to, uh, to give it a shot. Go for it. Uh, Glenn. Uh, the first thing, uh, the social justice movement is built upon or predicated on the idea of liberation theology. Liberation theology has its origin or its source in socialism, communism, and Marxism. Uh, Marxism and communism is a godless idea. They do not believe in the divine. And so any connection between the Bible and its attempt to do what is called justice and a socialistic frame is like mixing water and fire. They don't mix together. So the, the idea I think that we're looking at is one that is cloaked in uh, what we call a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is another Jesus and another gospel. This is another theology that does not fit the biblical uh, divine perspective. It's any Stephen, real quick, I've got I've to take a break, but go ahead and let's shoehorn your comment in here. I, I just want to beg to differ with my, my colleagues there. I, I think the failure of pastors to take the lead in this issue, uh, on these issues, is the reason why we're seeing the kind of uh, problems that, or malaise that we're seeing in our culture today. Uh, in addition to that, I, I'm, I want to introduce my friend to the idea of hate crime legislation, introduce them to the idea of a 501c3 that is used to knock Christians around and keep them silent from speaking out in America today. I want to introduce them to the idea of ENDA, which is employment non-discrimination, which is bullying and pushing Christians into mm -hmm. hiring people that they should not hire. Mm -hmm. We are, in America, are experiencing a soft tyranny, and we need to resist it. We need to recognize what it is, call it what it you, is. I, I, the I, Bible says that the Christians, uh, that the, that the uh, gatekeepers, that the shepherds have failed, and our shepherds in America have strengthened the hands of the evildoers because they have been silent for too long. All right.